Hey, what's up? Super quick tip right here. This little button right here, I think it comes automatically set up on your source side monitor. Actually, it's on also on the record size monitor. I guess I could find the sequence. That'd be weird why I would need to know what bin my sequence is in. But for the source clips, it does make sense to me. What bin is this clip in? And this fine bin right here button will figure that out. In this case, even the bin wasn't even open. And because this BIM was in the project, Avid will be able to open it and highlight the clip itself. Pretty cool little helpful feature right there. And why is it really called Find Bin? It should be really called Find Clip in Bin, but I guess it's finding the bin that this clip is in, so I guess it somewhat makes sense. I have had many issues where I'm working on multiple shows and I'll hit this and it will say it is not in this project, but it will at least give me the bin's name and maybe the project it's from and that will be helpful as far as where that clip lives, especially if it's in another project. So if, if for some reason this button is not on your source side monitor, I would go to my command palette called other and I would drag this find bin and put that on the left side of my source monitor. And this way, anytime there's a clip on the timeline, I would just match frame into it and say to myself, where is this clip? Avid, please tell me. And I hit find bin and there it is. So that's a super quick tip for Avid and a super quick tip for drinking beer. When you are in Florida, go to Funky Buddha and drink that Hop Gun IPA, one of my favorite IPAs. I wish there was a way I could find it more often in New York, but I cannot. But I will be in Florida for the next couple of days. I really recommend this Hop Gun IPA by Funky Buddha Brewing Company. And coming from Long Island, New York, there's nothing like going to the sixth borough of New York City, which is Florida. If you're a Premiere user and you want to learn Avid in quick, short, five-minute videos like this, go to avidbeer.com. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.